Hey guys, Bill Cimatel, Derek Stewart from the BBZ TV. We've been looking, we've been traveling all over the place, fishing inside humps and points and outside stuff. So today we're coming outside stuff. We're going to be trolling the T60 flatfish. I got this paired up with the Lexa 400, the Daiwa 801 that we picked up from Tackle Warehouse, the Maxima Braid. And we're going to come up here and we're looking on Google Earth and stuff and it's just a really nice front side of an island that actually goes right to main lake so we're going to come up here i'm going to set up a troll down this bank and i'm going to come around the the inside of that and what happened is i'm going to use the t60 and derek is going to actually on the outside he's going to be trolling the spoon that way we could actually cover two depths of the water and i'm trying to bang the bottom in that 25 foot zone and he's going to be in that 35 plus so uh, we're going to come over here and see if we catch anything, but this is the stuff you got to do. You got to look for isolated points, main water, we got wind going, we got good waves, weather's right, cloud, so beautiful, let's, day. beautiful day. So we're going to go over here and let's see if we can catch a, catch a Plumber Lodge trophy trout. So we're going to come over here and we're going we're gonna to set up on the front side of that so we can troll this corner. I'll run this whole thing, fast forward it. Okay guys, here's how we're going to set up the troll and like I said Derek's going to be on the outside, I'm going to be on the inside. I'm going to let out about 30 yards or so and I'm going to watch my graph and I'm going to try to get it up where I can come right across about 25-30 foot of water. So let that thing get out there a little ways. Okay, that's a pretty pretty good little distance. About 75, 80 feet behind the boat, almost 100. Make sure my drag is uh, semi-tight. And then, uh, then I'm gonna start inching in to this point. I'm gonna cross this point, we gotta go past it, and then we gotta make the turn around it. And see if we can catch us a big old laker. Okay, I'm gonna really try to tighten, tighten this line up there we go there's 30 30 foot right there so now i gotta bring it out 26 and then i'm going to just parallel down this line i could almost see the color change right there that one felt better that one actually felt better that one that one felt like it's got a little weight to it and it's just going out to deep water that's the right one but I got slowly in reverse, just trying to keep the pressure. Oh, I see him. I saw something. That's a little bigger bird. Oh, that's a bigger. That's a bigger fish. Oh, one of the hooks just gave out. Felt, yeah, I felt one of the hooks just popped out. Oh, the other one just popped out. I barely, I barely have them hooked. Barely have them hooked. Holy cow, we finally got a good one, dude. Nice. We finally got a good one, guys. Let me try to unhook him. Oh, he's already unhooked, which is nice. There we go. Tap, right here. I got, I got a hold of the net. Okay. Tap this out a little bit. Woo! Okay. 28. Nice. 20, 28. 28. Okay, guys. We took a couple photos. And the biggest thing is, is keeping them in the net so he can get air. I mean, you can see that really cool color change out here, a little tabletop. I'm out in 40, but we're coming right over 20 take it and I'll tap the boat back into there right there there right there that that one right there right off that color change the cool thing about this reel oh you got a double when you're bringing it in to help your buddy and stop the motor because you got to play the fish you can keep the action going plus you just might come up with a double nice two for a good little spot okay hold on Derek drop yours uh, 
Derek's got a decent one there. Not too bad. Yep. And if mine are small, hopefully now is the only time you wish that they'd, they'd unbutton. Yeah. <laughs> this is not what we're after, but this is a solid lake trout. Oh, that's a better, that's a nice a little, little trout. belly to him. Oh, look at you. That's a nice one. Oh, two first. Two first. Nice. That's one done. Nicer fish. Derek's gonna, gonna grab the lip real quick on that one. And then he's gonna hold it and keep the fish mainly in the water. Gonna push down on that inside round part so it just pops right out. There it goes. And then we let the fish go. We don't even never take it out of the water or hurt it. There he goes. Just like that. Good shot. See on that pass, guys, I was running the inside lane on the shadow or the color change. Derek on the outside. I hooked up with the fish with the flat fish. And then as I'm fighting the fish, Derek with the high speed reel. Reeling in uh, makes it quick. There's not a lot of resistance on that spoon. Uh, after you set the hook with the boat motor, and the boat is just sitting still, I can actually, even though I'm trying to get in quick so I can help my buddy out, I'm actually keeping the working speed just where it needs to be on the lure, and lo and behold, we have a double. Yep, so double, two different style uh, techniques, two baits, same troll, and you see how easy yeah. it is for the quick release with the fish, fish grippers. Grip. Yep. It's got a nice flat edge, unlike a lot of fish holds that can actually pierce right. through the mouth and stuff. And this thing, if you drop it, it'll float. So, you know, the less damage we can do to these fish, that means the next time you guys come up here to Plumber's Lodges, they're gonna be bigger and you can catch them too. So we're gonna make another pass on this uh, little tip of the point because we already caught, what, a 28? And- uh, Multiple hits right Yeah, there. multiple hits, so. And multiple catches. Yep, so we're gonna do it again. Okay, we swapped over and Derek, I was going too slow, so two, uh, two flat fish. Got some weight to it. I'm gonna bring mine in, bring my rod in, and have him bring it over to this side. There it is. Yes, sir. I'm gonna deal on this, guys. We're gonna put that in reverse so we don't go in on the thing. And Derek's gonna keep him in the water just a hair so he doesn't flip around as much. And splash the camera. Oh, and we might be lucky. We just might get lucky. There we go. Oh, look at this. Okay, we just released that fish and that was a red, uh, all lake trout spin, but the reds are notorious. And so always check your equipment after each fish because that fish spun, 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 and he, he worked the snap open and that could be disaster on the next catch. That's amazing too, being a barrel swivel and being able to turn. That what happens guys is with double treble hooks and no swivels on the treble hooks, the treble will actually catch the side of the fish's cheek plate or a fin or something and then they turn and they, they bind. They Even though this still swivels, they can still find different ways on binding stuff and opening things up. So. That's a good thing. Or Derek just forgot to uh, snap it before he fished it. <laughs> With me, you never know. <laughs> I've seen it happen on Pike before. Right. right. <laughs> Always check. Right? Yeah. Famous last words. But the point's still the same. Yeah. Perfect.